You want me to tell you what big boy mentors told me? Unless you got 30 years in and you're the damn Picasso of what you've done, of your industry, give it a break. The second you're proud is the day you stop working. Trust me. Say, no, Ty, you need all this. You need this to energize yourself. And you got to look in the mirror and say, I love you. Uh, you need it. My mentors didn't tell me I needed it. You want something? Train. People say, oh, Ty, you know, self-help. Well, some people think I'm self-help. I'm not really self-help. I'm about logic. I'm about reverse engineering the success of people. Trust me. Give the pride in yourself. Your mama might be proud of you, but this ain't your mama's world. You want to be an actor or an act actress? Train. When I meet somebody here in Hollywood, they say, oh, I'm here to be an actor. I say, how many hours did you train to be an actor yesterday? Oh, uh, inevitably the answer is, oh, well, you know, I trained a long time ago when I was in London. Uh, you're going to lose. But no, 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 I believe in myself. Well, the director doesn't believe in you. The casting agent, well, you're going to walk off the street with no skills and be like, I believe in you. When there's 100 people standing behind you that put in the work, come on now. I'm just like, I try not to be too hard nose on people. Now, if you work for me, I'm on hard nose. But, you know, on YouTube, I try to go easy on people just because people get a little discouraged. But come on. The day my life changed was at 19, 20 years old, five mentors, old rich guys. They looked at me and say, bro, you ain't gonna make it. And instead of being like everybody else that I know here in LA that gets all proud, well, well I believe in myself. I was like, no, they're smart. I ain't gonna make it. And I made a change. And like my mentor Joel Salton said, there is no change without a change of routine. One of the changes of routine you might need to make is the change that I had to make. The day I woke up to the big bad world that cares about one thing. Are you good? You want to be an entrepreneur? People will pay you for something that's good. Steve Jobs made something that's good. You try to make an iPhone. Put together an organization that can do that. It ain't that easy. People go, oh, Microsoft, Bill Gates. You try it. Try to take the world from zero compute, personal computing to real computer. You know, Bill Gates started at 12. He trained. Steven Spielberg, he started at seven. He trained. Didn't have belief in himself. Have belief in the mastery that you can create after you create it. You know, one of the 67 steps I have is called, from whence does all the pride come? Or from whence the pride cometh? I meet people, I'm like, are you proud about what you haven't done yet? Kobe Bryant trained. He shoots 800 shots a day before practice. It takes four hours a day. That's training. He didn't need pride in himself because, as Pooh Richardson, uh, Poo Richardson tells me, your competence will become your confidence. You will begin to have pride and confidence once you're a master. Until then, you're a student. Students got to act like students. If you are Pablo Picasso, if you are John Malkovich, if you are Mark Cuban, then puff up the pride and be like, I'm a badass. Until then, tone it down, man. Narcissistic world that's telling everybody that everybody's gonna just make it. It's a curse you put on yourself and other people when you promise people they're gonna make it. In fact, I remember somebody in my family, one of the, they meant well, but they always told me, Ty, you're gonna do big things. I realize now in retrospect, they handicapped me because I thought it was an inevitable fate because that's what they put into my head. I wish they had told me, you will be great if you practice and train and get a little luck and a little fate on your side, but mostly practice. <laughs>